Shame was fantastic to see you back at Finch Farm. I know you started your rehab back in Ireland and psychologically it must have helped to be amongst family and friends for a bit. Yeah, massively. Um, I think that was that was a big part. I think I probably had, you know, the first couple of days where I was a bit low and, you know, coming to terms with the injury and since then really, to be honest, everything's been quite positive. I got to go home and spend time with my family <coughs> and my friends and stuff that I probably haven't got the chance to do and you know, maybe eight, nine years. So it was good and uh, got my head around the injury and I was just ready to come back as well, ready to come back and start. Must have been tough for your family. I know you're from a very close-knit family, close-knit community. So when one of your own gets injured, yeah. it must affect a lot of people. Yeah, it did. Look, my family were, were obviously gutted and like myself and obviously the people of, of my hometown are great. Um, you know, they, they rally behind you and they support me all the way. So when an injury like this happens, um, you know, it, it does hit them, but uh, you just got to get on with it now. I know the support that I'll have from my family, the support I already have had from, you know, my brothers and uh, my wife has been great and my mum and dad and uh, my wife's mum and dad as well, they've, they've been great. I've, I've been sitting on the couch getting uh, <laughs> tended to the, the whole time, so um, it's been great and it was good to go home, but that support will definitely get me through. Gets you out of nappy changing for a while, I suppose, doesn't you it? You said that, I haven't changed a nappy in a month and I'm, I'm missing it, to be honest. <laughs> the tempting question, Seamus, is to say, did you know it was a bad one straight away? Yeah. But I suppose you were in shock for a little bit, were you? No, I knew, I knew straight away. I knew, um, I knew instantly uh, that it happened. I never broke a bone in my life, but you just know. And I suppose uh, the, initial, the initial thought was just to, to hold it and, and make sure that like you know, no one tried to maybe lift you up and say let's take a quick free kick or something because you never know what what, what, what uh, mindset the other players are in so it was just a case of trying to stay calm and and looking after it till the doctor came on and when the doctor came on I told him obviously I said he, it's broken I think he probably must have known as well so mm. I told him and, and once I kind of knew they had it under control I think the, the pain kind of hit me then but um, Have you watched it back? I've watched it back, I've watched it all back I think Psychologically, there's some players that, that don't want to, but I think it's best just getting out of the way. I've seen it back. I've um, I've seen the pictures, all the rest. Mm -hmm. So now it's it's fine. I've you know I've got over all that, and obviously it wasn't nice, but look, it happens. You're a naturally positive guy. You're back at Finch Farm now. There is a long journey ahead of you, but it's got to start somewhere. Exactly, yeah. and you know it started it started the day the operation was done for me once. Once the operation was done and uh, everything went well, and as I said, with the support of, of my family and, and the people back home, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be tough at times, but you know, that, that, that'll get me through. And uh, in a way, looking forward to the challenge. Um, you know, it's not been smooth for me to get where I've got, so this is another little challenge. And you know, you have good days and bad, but you know, still got the best job in the world and you have to take a positive out of it. As well as the support you've had from the Everton family, I know full well the Irish family as well have rallied round. It must be must be bizarre for your mum and dad's neighbours to have these stream of celebrity visitors rocking up. Yeah, it was. Look, uh, I've, I've been it's been great for me the two managers to to you know I, I put I put a shift in for them whenever I play and for them to go to the effort to come see me. You know, Martin O'Neill came from from London to see me, uh, had a cup of tea and a chat, and it was great and. Literally just come over, come come over to see me, which is great. And then obviously the boss and and Jags and Matt and Jan came over to see me, which was great as well. And I just you know, just giving back that little bit. So it was it was nice. It was nice. What can you do now, Shane? Are you going to do a lot of pool work, for example, upper body stuff? Yeah, I've, I've been in the gym yesterday, done some upper bodies and some exercises in the gym on my leg. And I went to the pool then, some run aqua jogging in the pool and. So I'm walking up and down just to get the movements back and um, there'll be a lot of treatment as well to help the swelling and, and whatnot. But the pain's gone, so that's, that's a massive bonus. You know, I don't have any pain anymore. So. so as I said, I'm quite upbeat at the minute. You are upbeat, you are positive. Are you patient? Uh, th I, think that'll be, I think that'll be the hard bit. Um, I've, I've said that. I've no, you know, I've read different articles. I've no... Um, fear of you know coming back the same place you know none of that nonsense I know I'll be back and uh, I'll not be afraid of your first tackle or you know none of that that's not that's not been a problem for me psychologically but I think the time the time will be the one but you just got to break it down into some into months and and do what you can but the time is something that you know will be tough for me because you're used to playing every week and uh, used to training every day but 
you know, it's part and parcel of it and you've just got to get on with it. You're looking forward to going back to Goodison Park again? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I prefer it to be going back with my bits on. But no, I'm looking forward to, to going to the game and see, seeing the lads and support the lads. I've been supporting them from home and things have been going well at the minute and I'm sure the lads are playing very well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back, yeah.